Hello Team Smithy. I hope this message finds you safe and healthy at home. There's so much we wanted to achieve as we start our first year with Vega, but as COVID looms, we were all having to make sacrifices. We're having to find new ways of working and to continue to improve our factory, even though we may be far away. Despite not being able to be there with you, I wanted to take a moment to talk to you about safety and to launch the initiative we were planning to launch at the training day. When I speak to people across site about the importance of near misses, they see it a little differently to me. They see near misses as important because they let us identify, fix, repair and track hazards on site. To me, near miss reports are all about the conversation, about keeping safety front of mind. Across industries, it's understood that for every 100 near misses you report, we prevent one injury from occurring. And we're a testament to that here. Five years ago at Smithy, we were having 15 injuries. Now, we report 1,400 near misses and we are preventing 14 injuries from occurring. When I look at the injuries that we still have on site, they're what we call behavioural injuries. The process is defined, the machines are risk assessed, and people know the right, safe choice to make. But in that moment, they don't think. They choose the unsafe path. They choose to take a shortcut. They think it won't happen to them. They think they won't get hurt. Nemesis is about making you practice safe behaviours. To think about safety first, every time. And to have the confidence to speak up and the words to use to have a safety conversation. No one's perfect. We all need help to be better. This year, you'll hear me talk about being better a lot. About making ourselves better, our teams better, our sight and our lives better. Perfection is hard to do. It's often far away and out of reach. But better can be done tomorrow. Better is not hard or far away. Better is the small steps that we take each and every day. That's what near misreporting is. The small step, the practice that makes us perfect. Several years ago, when we were rebuilding mixing, the airlock did not exist. You could stand outside in the tanker bay and see directly into a working mixing plant. While work was happening one day, I was standing there, a much younger person, with my two bosses, Kevin Graham and Ted Mitchell. In front of me, two crews were operating scissor lifts, removing sections of ceiling panels. These insulated ceiling panels are made of two thin sheets of metal, which when cut are quite sharp, almost like a giant razor blade. I watched as they brought the ceiling panel down onto the scissor lifts. At this moment, time stood still. Looking up at this situation, I knew exactly what was about to happen. I could feel it, but I did nothing. I stood there frozen, not confident or comfortable enough to speak up not wanting to make a scene or embarrass myself in front of my bosses. I stood there and watched as the scissor lift reversed and the man in the back almost lost his head. We got lucky that day. Fortunately, that man was wearing a hard hat and he was able to duck quickly enough that instead of cutting his throat, it knocked his hard hat off. His neck was snapped back, but he was able to get his head under the panel just in time. When I think about who has the higher risk jobs on site, it's the frontline teams, the trades and the operators, interacting with machinery and forklifts, not the support staff sitting at their desks. Yet it's the support staff that are entering 10 times as many near misses as the frontline teams. I don't believe it's because you don't care, but because the system we designed is flawed. It's not user friendly. We want to make it easier for you to practice and record safety, quality, and environmental conversations. Today I'm launching a new paperless tool and ignition, observation cards. You'll be able to access it from right next to your quality checks. You don't need an account, there is no username or password to remember. Anyone, every staff member, every contractor and casual on any PC on site will be able to enter an observation. With near misses, when you see a hazard or unsafe behaviour, you write, I saw something unsafe, and I stopped it. 
but for me, we miss half the story. Observation cards allow us to recognize good behavior as well as reflect on our own. We can write recognition that I was doing something unsafe and Eugene helped me think of another way. Thank you, Eugene. And it doesn't end there. What if you saw that interaction happen? You could go over and tell them both, I saw that safety conversation. You handled it well. Thank you for putting safety first. Recognizing our good behaviors is so much more powerful. It's the carrot, not the stick, that helps us remember to be better every day. To use observation cards, you'll find the button on each line page. Type in your name, it will pull up your observation records. Select from the options of recognition, near miss, or incident. Choose the topic, whether it's safety, quality, or environment. Select your team and hazard category. Write what you saw. Provide as much or as little detail as you think is necessary. Then write what you did and how you helped. Ask yourself, is the situation safe? Is it in control? If not, you need to go take another action before you return to work. Do we need an investigation or is there a follow-up required? If so, tick yes and take an action to your team meeting. I often think about that day in mixing where I rolled the dice on someone's life. I wonder if someone had recognised me for my safe decisions, thank me, would I have had the confidence to stand up when it really mattered? 99 times we practice, so when that one time comes around, we save a life. Maybe you'll save your mates, maybe you'll save yourself. I encourage you to get out there, have a conversation, use the tool, and start to be better.